Hello, uh, my name is Athira, and today we will be learning how to use Stata to conduct data analysis. Stata is a statistical software package that is most commonly used by researchers in a wide variety of fields, ranging from economics to biomedicine. Here's a little fun fact. Uh, the name Stata is a syllabic abbreviation of the words statistics and data. Uh, however, the proper pronunciation of the name is still a mystery to many, including myself. Uh, how would you pronounce the name? It, would you call it Stata or Stata? <laughs> Let me know. One of the main reasons why Stata is so popular is because it is really fast, accurate, and easy to use. Stata has a really simple point-and-click user interface that allows the user to quickly generate anything from uh, summary statistics on a data set, uh, run uh, simple linear regressions, um, or even conduct more complex multivariate analysis and create a lot of interesting visuals uh, such as time series plots, um, all by using the simple click of a button. In addition to the point and click user interface, Stata also has a really powerful and intuitive command syntax that allows the user to create programs that can combine various data sets together, clean up the data, um, add or delete variables, and use the data sets to conduct statistical analysis and create output files of interest. Okay, so I hope that you are all excited to learn more about how to use data for conducting data analysis. A really quick note before we get started, I am assuming that you are all taking some kind of introductory statistics course and are familiar with some of the terms that I will be using throughout this video, such as mean, standard deviation, regressions, um, residuals, etc. If at any point you feel like you need to look some of these terms up, feel free to pause this video and come back to it later. Um, okay, so without further ado, let's get started with the goals for today's lesson. Alrighty, so here is an outline of today's lesson. We will start off with looking at Stata's interface, and I'll describe to you what each of the docked windows in the interface represent. Next, we'll be looking at the types of data files that are compatible with Stata and how to load these data sets into Stata's memory. Um, after that, we shall get started with some basics for conducting data analysis. I'll show you some commands that will be useful to get to know your data set a little bit better, and I'll also show you how to obtain some basic summary statistics um, to know more information about your data. Uh, lastly, we'll, uh, we'll move on to looking at how to conduct a simple linear regression using Stata and obtain other measures such as confidence intervals, standard errors, residuals, and fitted scores. So once you launch Stata in your computer, the interface should look a little something like this. You will notice that there are five docked windows on your screen. The window on the lower bottom is called the command window, and this is where you'll be typing in your commands for data analysis. The results from entering your commands will show up on this larger window right above. On the left, there is a review window, and this keeps track of all of the commands that you have ran since you started your session. The window on the top right corner is called the variables window, and this keeps track of all of the variables in your data set. Right below the variables window is the properties window, and this window displays the properties of the variables in your data set, such as the variable type, for example if the variable is a character or a numeric variable, the format in which the variable is saved, um, such as if it is a date format or a time format, the variable description or label. If at any point you feel like changing the dimensions of any of these windows, all you need to do is to hover your mouse between two windows and drag the window to the left or the right or up or down um, based on your liking. So here's a quick quiz to see if you were paying attention. What window keeps track of all of the commands that were ran during a Stata session? Is it option 1, variables? Option 2, properties? Option 3, command? 
option 4, review, or option 5, results. The right answer is option 4, review. There are two types of data formats that are compatible with Stata. One is a text format and the other one is a Stata format. In Stata, data sets that have a text format are represented using the suffix .raw or .text, while the Stata format datasets have the suffix .dta. So now that we know what datasets are compatible with Stata, let's load one into Stata's memory. You can do this by either typing in the command use followed by the path name of the file within quotes. Um, so let me just go ahead and do that right now. Use followed by the path name within quotes. And this opens up the file. Or alternatively, you can also click on the menu option file, go to open, and then find the file within your computer. Um, either way would work just as well. The data set that I have loaded right now is a pretty small data set that I found online for free. It contains salary information on 52 tenured tracks professors, all from a rather small college. Um, so to view the elements in your data set, what you can do is click on the data option on the menu, go to data editor and click on data editor browse. Um, so this gives you uh, this gives you an idea of what the data set looks like. Um, so the first variable that we have here is the sex of the professor followed by their rank. So whether they're a full-time professor, an associate professor, or an assistant professor. The number of years that they were in their current rank. Um, their highest degree earned. So this is coded as 1 if they have received a doctorate or zero if they've only received a master's. Uh, the number of years that their highest degree was earned and the academic yearly salary. Now keep in mind that this is a really old data set so don't be alarmed by the low salaries of these uh, professors. So now that we have our data, we might want to know a little bit more information and obtain summary statistics about our data set. Uh, the first command that I'll be teaching you is called the describe command. Uh, so once you have loaded up your data into Stata's memory, all you need to do is to type in the words describe and hit enter. And what you see right here is that Stata produces a very rather high level summary of the data set that is in Stata's memory. Um, on the top right here, uh, you'll notice that it tells you that there's 52 observations in your data set um, and that there are six variables. Uh, the table below that lists all of the variables in the data set followed by the type of variables. So as you can see, all of these variables are numeric. Um, and the variable label gives you a description of each of the variables in the data set. If you are interested in finding a little bit more information about one particular variable in your data set, you can use the summarize command. So I'm typing in the word summarize followed by the variable of interest. Uh, so in my case, I'm going to type in summarize and I want to find some summary statistics on the academic yearly salary. So I'm typing in the variable name and hitting enter. And Stata is giving me um, some summary statistics about this variable. So it's showing me that the average annual salary uh, is $23,797. Um, and a deviation of around $5,917. Uh, the lowest salary in our data is $15,000. And the highest uh, possible salary in our data set is around $38,000. The tabulate command can help you give you uh, frequency distributions on a particular variable of interest. 
Uh, so let's type in the command tabulate followed by our variable of interest. I want to find out the frequency of the sex variable in my data set. So here we go. Um, Stata is telling us that around 73% of the observations in our data are uh, male, so and 26% of them are female. Now suppose I want to find the cross frequency between this sex variable and their the rank of the professor. I can do that by entering both variables after the tabulate command. So I'm typing in tabulate followed by the first variable which is sex and the second variable which is rank. And here we go. Um, Stata is showing me that out of the 18 as assistant professors in the college, 10 of them were male, 8 of them were female. Um, so generally it looks like um, there is a lower proportion of female professors in this university and majority of these female professors are assistant professors. If you want to create a new variable in your data set, you can do so by using the generate command. Uh, so the syntax for that is to write the word generate followed by the new variable name um, and then an operation. Um, so I am going to create a new variable that calculates the monthly salary of each professor in this college. So I'm typing in generate followed by my new variable name which is monthly salary and I'm setting that equal to the academic, the yearly salary, so that's denoted by this variable, uh, divided by 12 for 12 months. And as you can see in the variables window, this new variable has been created. Now suppose we want to predict the annual salary of a professor in this college. We might be interested in creating a simple linear regression model using some of these uh, variables in our data set. So to do so, all you need to do is type in the regress command followed by the uh, dependent variable, which in this case is the yearly salary, and then list all of the regressors that you want to keep in your model. So I'll be keeping the sex, the rank of the professor, um, the years that they were in their current rank, and their highest degree earned. Um, and here we go. Um, Stata has given us a bunch of um, uh, coefficient estimates in this table. So the first column here are all of the coefficient estimates for the regressors in our model. Um, uh, the last the last row here is the coefficient estimate for the constant term. Um, the next column is the standard errors. Uh, these are the t statistics and the p values. Uh, lastly, we ha also have the 95% confidence intervals for each of these um, regressors. Um, on the top of this table, there is also other measures of uh, goodness of fit, such as the R-squared um, and the adjusted R-squared. Uh, we also have the square root of the mean squared error. Great job! You have now completed today's lesson on conducting some basic data analysis using Stata. Just to recap what we've learned so far, we looked at what each of the five windows in Stata's interface represent, how to load a data set into Stata's memory, using Stata to uh, obtain some basic summary statistics about your data set, um, and conducting simple linear regression to obtain measures such as fitted scores, residuals, etc. So I hope you enjoy playing around with some of these tools that you learned in today's lesson.